This is the short game gain steel putty mirror. Let me show you how it can help your game. So first of all, let's go through what comes inside this putting mirror kit. So first of all, obviously the putty mirror. It also comes with the start line ruler, marbles, a little uh, cloth that can help you remove fingerprints off the mirror, and the silicone strips that you will put on top of the mirror to protect it so it doesn't get scratched where your eyes should be located. So before you start using your mirror, make sure you put one of these silicone strips on top of your mirror. So all you do, you remove one of the strips and then we want you to put it right at the start of the mirror and then down the center graphic line of the mirror. So the function of this strip is for the putter head to lay on top of the strip instead of laying directly on top of the metal. Okay, so this will help prevent scratches where your eyes are supposed to be located. So now that you have put on the silicone strip, let's go over all the functions of the mirror. Maybe the main feature of a putty mirror is to make sure that your eyes are correctly positioned over the golf ball. Most good player has their eyes just inside or right on top of the center line of the putty mirror. That gives them the best ability to look directly down your intended line. Some players have their eyes way too much over the golf ball and in that case the hole is going to look to the left of them and some players do the opposite they have their eyes way too far inside the golf ball and if your eyes are here the hole is going to look way to the right the eye line is important and it's also important to make sure where your head is positioned not only where the eyes are positioned okay so that means that you got to make sure that your left eye is pretty much directly on top of the golf ball. We don't want the head too far to the right or too far to the left. This mirror will not only help you with your eye position, it will also help you align your shoulders thanks to the additional start line ruler that comes with the mirror. You can see on one side of the ruler, you have a mirrored finish with just a straight graphic line. And if you position that right underneath, the putting mirror and then set up to the ball, you will be able to see your upper half of your body. And here you can see if your shoulders are square or if they are open or shut. Players with an open shoulder alignment will tend to have a path that's more out to in and players with a shut body or shoulder alignment will tend to swing it more in to out. So if you want a very neutral swing path, you gotta make sure that your shoulders are perfectly square to your target. When you have your eyes and shoulders aligned, it's also important that you stay still throughout the whole motion. A lot of players move back or even forward during the stroke, which will cause a lot of inconsistency. So when you set up to the ball, eyes are where they need to be, shoulders are square, then make sure that you keep your head in the same position throughout the whole stroke to become consistent. To further help you with your swing path, we have these cutouts in the mirror where you can position T. So for example, if you're a player that swings it too much to the inside, you can put these T's in these cutouts, which prevents the putter from swinging too much inside initially in your stroke. And obviously, we can even create a little bit of a gate here for the putter head during the whole motion to make sure that the putter stays on plane throughout the whole swing. So let's see if we do it to correctly right here. So there you go. Now it's impossible for me to swing it too much out or too much in. The putter head needs to swing on a neutral plane thanks to the position of the tees and the cutouts of the mirror. An additional function of the cutouts that are positioned right where the ball is, is the ability to create a gate for the putter head to ensure that you're hitting the putts out of the center of the club face. This is a drill that Tiger Woods have done for ages and it helps him hit it out of the sweet spot, which is very important if you want to be consistent with your putting. So just make sure that the tees are just on the outside of the toe and the inside of the heel, and then hit putts and try to avoid the tees to make sure you're hitting it out of the middle. And the final cutout you will see on the mirror are these two holes at the end. If you put down two tees, press them all the way down, you have now created a start line gate to be able to help you work on starting your putts directly 
on your intended line. In putting, it's extremely important to be precise. And if you slightly push it, you will hit the top gate, or if you slightly pull it, you will hit the bottom gate. So this function right here will help you to start a putt straight. If you're practicing indoors, you're not going to be able to push tees down through the mat. So that's why we included these marbles in the kit. All you have to do is just place them in the holes and you now have a start line gate for indoor practice. Another great function of the start line ruler is the measurements that you can find on the back of the ruler from one to 12 inches. If you want to be consistent with your putting, you have to have a consistent setup and you can use the ruler to make sure that you always stand in the same distance from the golf ball by placing it just underneath the ruler in line with the ball and then take your normal setup Make sure that you feel comfortable. That feels really good for me and the eyes on the right position. And then put down an alignment stick or club shaft and see exactly how far away from the ball that you're standing. That feels pretty good to me. And you can see I'm about six and a half inches from the golf ball. So if you do this every time you practice, you can ensure that you always stand the same distance from the golf ball, which will obviously help you stay more consistent. You can also use the ruler to measure how wide your stance is, for example. So for me, I put it down and I know I'm pretty much exactly 12 inches between my feet. So I can put it down, making sure that, yep, that's exactly where I need to be. And you need to test yourself to see if that's comfortable for you or if you need to be a little bit wider or a little bit more narrow. It doesn't really matter as long as you stay consistent. And if you're practicing a lot indoors, maybe in a hotel room where the carpet is not as pure as a putt green should be, you can actually use the start line ruler as a start line ruler, which means that it actually fits exactly through the gate here so that the ball can rest on top of the ruler and now the goal is to roll the ball across the ruler without having it fall off on either side of it. So it's a great function as well to use the ruler to make sure that you're starting the ball directly on your intended line. Another way you can use the measurements on the back of the ruler is to help calibrate your stroke length to help your distance control. So what you do, you place the ruler at the back of the mirror and then you stand up to the ball. When you set up to the ball here and you have the ruler just behind the mirror, you can actually measure exactly how far the ball rolls out depending on how long your backstroke is. So that's how we calibrate the disc control. So I'm gonna see exactly how far the ball rolls out if I swing this putter head back to the six inch mark. So that was about six inches. So let's see, that's around one, two, three, around 10 feet, okay? So let's see if I can do that again. I wanna swing it back to about six inches and the ball should go about 10 feet. So there, pretty much identical. So now I know if I swing the putter head back to about six inches, that's how hard I have to hit it to get the ball to, tell, to 10 feet. You can obviously mess around, see how far the ball rolls out if you swing it to about the three, three inch mark or all the way to the 12 inch mark. But this is a system that you can use that Bryson DeChambeau is using all the time to calibrate and improve your disc control. These are some ways that the steel putting mirror from Short Game Gains can really help you improve your putting. And this mirror is also designed to last a very long time. That's why, it's made out of steel and why it's also double sided. So get to work and if you have any questions, drop it below in the comments.